Hello and welcome. My name is Andy from Andy J Movies. So I'm like Alex, and today we're going to talk about South Park, which is one of my favourite TV shows. Probably second to The Simpsons when it was good. Um, obviously, Simpsons isn't good anymore. We all know that. Since uh, been there, what season eight, nine? Eight, nine. Yeah, <laughs> eight, nine. It's like my go-to thing. I've Simpsons. I go, yeah, seasons eight or nine. One well, yeah, thing sure. about The Simpsons, though, like while it's not good and good anymore, you can still enjoy watching it. You get me? Yeah, you can. It's good you family can. viewing. It is good it, family viewing. It's nowhere near as good as it used to be. No, it's not. It's different. It's almost as if it's felt pressure from Family Guy. Exactly. Yeah. It all random. But, but then uh, again, Family Guy isn't funny anymore either. That's true. That's true. The only thing I like about Family Guy is the Stewie kind of gay. Stewie is joke. brilliant. Is the stuff they do. Um, but uh, Seth MacFarlane recently confirmed that Stewie was gay, which is you know kind of defeats the whole point. Yeah, of the ruins it, doesn't it? Thing for me. Yeah, it ruins the ambiguity of it. Not that it was that. You know, subtle. Was, no, I don't think it was that subtle, but still, it was nice to not know. Um, so yeah, I mean, I mean, South Park to me, when when I was growing up, when it was first around, it was like a forbidden thing. Mm. And it was the same with you. I remember getting uh, letters home telling parents not to let their kids watch Seriously? it. Seriously? Yeah. And <laughs> That's mad. Well, it was like the first uh, cartoons, like you know, copyright adult themes. I'd mm. say. Mm. Definitely. The first one I watched, I think. Was Volcano, which was like the second one. It's um of the first series, I know that. I remember yeah. my first one was Carving Out an Anal Probe, which is very appropriate because it was the first series, the first episode. But um, I watched it on video, which my uncle gave me because I remember it was a bit of a forbidden thing at the time. Well, the official think, videos, the official it? videos, yeah. They I were remember, good. Um, good covers. It wasn't, it wasn't on terrestrial TV for ages, but then it came to Channel 4. Mm. It's part of a really good uh, Friday night comedy. For ages, but then that stopped. Well, it's, it's still pretty hard to access in the UK. I'd say. I mean, it's not on terrestrial anymore. No, it's not on terrestrial. It's on uh, Comedy Central. Comedy Central, but they've got a lot better within the coming years. They used to be quite far behind, but recently they've got a lot better. They're uh, pretty much straight away. I mean, mm. they're within a week they, of, of the ones being aired in America. Yeah, yeah. and um, yeah, so that's pretty good. I mean, what did you? Um, I remember you... watching like uh, coming out to an Pro, but not really getting the humour, but mm. still finding it funny because mm. like. What I always think about South Park is there's adult themes, you know, there's adult jokes, but there's also the child of humour. Yeah. And, like, you know, obviously there's a child of humour, like, this thing coming out of Cameron's ass was hilarious. Yeah. But then you go back on a few years later and, like, um, still the jokes are funny, but, like, you get the different ones too. Yeah, true. Also, um, I think South Park's developed, you know, it's gone away from the child of humour more now. Yeah, no, And there's more adult themes, you know, like, they're trying to make political statements. Yeah. Whether I'm reading too much into that, like, you know, the last episode about, um, the catch in the eye. Mm. I'm not sure whether they're trying to say like, yeah, we're, we're not, you know, trying to get adult themes in, but you know, yeah. I've always seen that, you know, a lot of the episodes I kept that you could dissect, you know, oh, definitely. Uh, essays on. Yeah, definitely, definitely. I mean, you know, that's what's so good about them. They, they, they take something serious, but they, they make it accessible. Exactly, yeah. Um, and I, what I like as well is what I really like when they, when they, even when they do serious issues or when they do episodes, is when they make the kids be kids. And if especially when they're dealing with serious issues. Yeah. And they're childish about it. That's quite interesting. And also the episodes where it is about the kids more, like the list and all that kind yeah, of yeah. stuff. I find those really interesting. A lot of people consider them throwaways, but I yeah. like those episodes. Well, um, one of my favourite episodes, which is criminally underrated, is uh, Rainforest Mainforest. Oh, yeah. Just that line from Cartman, look how poor and crappy everything is. Mm. It, it's such a good line, you know. I can imagine like people that I know saying that. Yeah. But, you know, just in the context, it's hilarious. Cause, you know. But, yeah, yeah, I would say, like, you know, the characters are well constructed. I mean, like you know, mm. you get characters from as far different as you know as Randy and like Butters, the mm. Cartman. All the characters are like well thought out, and yep. they're all extremely different. I mean, I know um, Carl and Stan are supposed to be Trey and Matt. I can't remember which ones which. Do you know? I don't know. No, um, I'm not too sure. Um, Stan, I think is Trey, maybe. Mm. But you know, I might have got completely wrong. I think I'm just guessing, but. Um, I know one of them's got more prolific in the writing of it lately, like um, since about series seven or six, yeah. the writing and directing every episode while um, the, other one. the other one just like, you know, produces and like, you know, keeps me in check, you know, tries to get the censors, you know, getting mm. past the censors. Mm. No, definitely, definitely. That's, that's a lot of case with a lot of like team directors as well. One will kind mm. of step, step in and, and become the, the main man. I would say they are definitely part of his team though, you know. They're not, like, one of the, while one of them is like, you know, more important, like you might think, but like, you know, I don't think they work as well, you know, aside from a team. Oh, oh no, definitely. I think, you know, 
you get that you don't get that impression that you know. But also, I love if you listen. I don't know if you, anyone listens to the commentaries and oh, yeah, yeah, okay. the way they work. I mean, they work so rushed as well. Yeah, I know they've said like that they can finish an episode in three days. Yeah. Right? Do you remember the Barack Obama episode? You know, a couple yeah. of days after he was elected, and it it featured uh, lines from the speech. Yeah, yeah, amazing. But like you know, for like um, I think you know they must have like very raw natural talent for them to have to keep thinking about you know what. Obviously, they had like you know a guideline, but mm. if you had to do it so fast, they'd still give it the humour. Yeah, yeah. Such high level. No, definitely. Um, I think you know there is there is. Um, I think maybe if if I say anything towards the the uh-huh. later direction in in the show is that maybe they they put themselves in a corner when they started doing celebrity takeoffs because yeah. people expected that from them then. And yeah, another example of like you know South Park's adult humour, like you know comparing. Uh, Drugs with fast food, you know, it's a really good comparison. Yes. You know, like, you know, that could be like, um, something to dissect again. Like they definitely are good at doing that. They can, you know, they can take an issue and make it relatable and make it, you know, casual almost. Yeah. Um, without going too heavy with it. I mean, you know, I think sometimes, oh, we disagree on the Margaritaville episode, don't we, but... I think that Margaritaville wasn't as bad as you make out. I still think it's funny and like, you know, I think the credit crunch, uh, excuse me, the credit crunch was a topic that was going to be dealing with in South Park. I mean, I'm amazed it took so long for Facebook to be featured. Facebook, no, definitely, because you definitely feel that would be a, a kind of a, a thing that they'd they'd be into, and you could tell they'd be cynical about Facebook just from hearing them speak. Yeah, like yeah definitely. Stuff. You know that it's going to be festering on their on their minds. They're not ones to to be want to be popular. <laughs> exactly, and like you know that was another you know the, the references and that like you know the friends thing, mm. friends disappearing and like um whole like wanting the most friends I mean like you know I think most of us are pretty guilty of that you know it's true most of us will deny it but you know it's, it's still there and like the whole like uh, that scene from Wendy when she was um, complaining that Stan had sent himself a single mm. I've seen that happen before you know that does uh, exist yeah, yeah. but like you know it's like um, I don't know who's what your audience is for this type of thing is it like mainly American or British viewers would you say um, for what's that for, for, for your videos sorry oh for my videos um, oh it's a mix of both really mainly American I, I don't um, the comedian Peter K he makes very topical humour oh personally I don't find him that funny but you know South Park will take the topical and observational stuff mm. and run with it you know they've done a much better job of that like you know um, Bill Hicks for example mm-hmm. you know they must have like you know been influenced by like you know yeah. oh I think the co- comedy in South Park is very British to be fair it is very British, it is very, and I think I think also like a lot of things, it is very popular over here. I mean, you know, I think maybe equal to, if not more so than America in some yeah. cases. And I think that's a lot for a lot of shows that that are more topical. That is the case. And I'm not that's not meant to sound elitist or anything or anything like that. But it seems like a lot of those kind of shows do have strong British audiences. Well, definitely, but um, I think the South Park audience is like more um, into like uh, film as an art form or like uh, mm. TV as an art form. Because you know that they're definitely influenced it's, it's by... It's more intelligent to humour, definitely. Oh, definitely. They're definitely influenced by Monty Python. Oh, yeah. They did that Dead Parrot sketch as a South Park as well. Remind me of that? Oh, um, John Cleese walks into a, a pet shop and he says he sold him a dead parrot. Oh, yeah. And the guy tried to convince him that he's not dead. Yeah. They, South Park did a version of that as like a little skit with Cartman and Kenny. Uh, yeah. Maybe not Kenny because he can't talk. It must be somebody else. But, um, yeah, so they, they never mentioned Monty Python. I remember when they did the Kenny... The Kenny Dies episode. The Kenny Dies episode, I think, was one of the most brave episodes they've done. They really, it, it's, it's not only is it brave, but when it's funny, it's really funny as well. Yeah. It, and I love the twist at the end when he's actually building a fast food restaurant it's, it's instead of saving his friend. But, you know, um, that's, you know, they're always willing to break boundaries. They're always willing to, you know, go that one step. Yeah. Perhaps someone would see it too far. I mean, perhaps with comedy, I don't see you can go too far as long as you're willing to make a statement with it, as long as, you know, yeah. you're doing it for a reason. That's, that's true. That's my view of it. And, like, you know, they've always doubt their humour. Yeah. Why it's been offensive, you know, whatever, they've never like, you know, glamorised anything no. negative. They've always, you know, yeah. shown you know, I think that's brilliant for that. No, no, I agree. And also I think maybe another point, I don't want to get too far into this because that's a whole that could be a whole other video. But I know there's a kind of the family guy south part thing. But <laughs> I think we should talk about that a bit about the seals. The, uh, well exactly the seals I mean that was genius exactly um, and I love that line from Cartman I'm probably paraphrasing you'll have to help me out yeah, here. Um, the uh, at least my jokes follow the plots I love that joke it's so I true I quote it a lot <laughs> I, I, I do enjoy Family Guy you know it's a bit of a guilty pleasure but as I said like you know the past series haven't been so good but it's true the comedy doesn't follow the plot yeah. at all yeah.